After a month of non-stop action, it's kind of dirty in here. Like a lot. The stainage is severe. It's time to polish, clean this place up. Time for housekeeping! Uh-oh. Can't do it. Bet you guys didn't think you'd be staring into a Cam. It does the work so I don't have to. Yeah. Okay, I interrupt my unscheduled cleaning activity to bring you a 2017 Kia Cadenza. Uh, 44,971 approximate miles on the odometer and uh, this car is kind of a comeback um, kind of it's uh, we worked on this car uh, from a it was a body shop outsourced job and we put a bunch of used parts in it and now that there's squeaks and rattles on the front end let's listen for them backing up Did you hear that creak? Sounds like the right front. There's some. Oh yeah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so it makes all this creaking noise stuff. I understand there was at least a subframe installed and probably some other goodies. So uh, I'm gonna go flip around, go back into the shop, and we'll lift this thing up and see what's going on down below. Yeah, that's a lot of creaking. Ding, seatbelt, safety, ding. I know, parking lot, don't care. Ding, 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 ding. See what kind of sinister tomfoolery is occurring here. And I say that because we either have parts that are loose or crappy parts that should not have been installed to begin with. Moving on up. I didn't steal your goat, um, a viewer sent this to me, but I like it. Safety. Okay, let's see what kind of atrocities we can identify here. Hmm, ah, oh, there's a used part. I see one. Oh, heck, I don't even know what could be making the noise. All right, yep, there is a subframe here. I guess I could start with checking all the fasteners and making sure everything is tight. Okay. Must be a dormant subframe. All right, let's get the goods out. Big ratchet. Start with the 22. See if they're tight. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, that's small. Nope. There, we got another one. Let's move over here. There's another one up there. It's 
not gonna work. But this will. There we go. Let's see, that's tight. Okay, I checked this other side too, including the control arm bolts. Um, everything's tight on it. All right, let's back up and check these 21 millimeter bolts here. Let's see what we got. It's bottomed out. Oh. Hey, found something. More tight. Stump frame quick. Yeah, that one's tight, but not, uh, not as tight as it could be. Click. Alright. Slide it down and drive it again. See if that was it. That is it. I think I'll make the words of wisdom on this particular Kia to be about not relying on your impact gun. I think most folks are afraid to impact something down like really, really hard with their gun because they think they'll over torque it. And if you try to throttle your gun back, you will under torque it. And I believe that's what happened here. They ended up under torqued. I wonder. Do I hear it? Do I not? Sebo, it's gonna start beeping at me soon. Click it or tick it. Click. There we go. Got our click in for the day, fellas. I don't think I hear it. Nice. That was easy. I didn't even have to take anything apart. Reversing a little behind us. Good, I can see you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we're good here. Wonderful. Well, that's a, I guess that's a double-edged sword. Uh, it's gonna make this video very, very short. It's going to prove me wrong right away because I assumed that some junkyard parts uh, were the cause of it and it turned out to be installation error. So I am officially inserting foot into mouth and uh, I was wrong, I was wrong the whole time. Uh, but regardless, you never know what you're gonna find. And that's what we found today. What's all this stuff? Bunch of, bunch of nonsense. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this short video on uh, making sure that your nuts are screwed in all the way. If you did like this video, please let me know by tapping tap that like button down below. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. And before I go, I want to remind each and every one of you to not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of transmission. Oh, one more foot and mouth moment. I certainly hope I wasn't the guy that replaced the subframe on this uh, on this Kia because that would be like I was wrong at first and I was wrong again and then I was the cause of being wrong all those other times that would be bad it's like ah, that's like quit your job kind of status right there I hope I didn't do this Kia you guys let me know if I did do this Kia I don't think that I did but um uh, yeah if I did that's gonna sting that's gonna sting a lot We're backing up the auto. Caption. Powering down. How delightful.